I would like to share with you some of the highlights from the Benjamin Zucker family collection of rings. There are 40 rings in this collection. The selection I've chosen underscores the theme, Cycles of Life. The first ring is a Gimmel ring from the Rothschild collection. Gimmel means twin. And this is an enormously complicated ring that breaks apart into two separate sections, twins. The bezel is composed of two stones, a beautiful red ruby and a spectacular diamond. On either side of the bezel, there are hands holding hearts with enameling in the same colors, the green and red of the bezel. On the hoop, the names of the couple are inscribed with the date of their marriage, 1631. As the ring opens, it reveals two cavities. One cavity shows a baby and the other cavity a skeleton with the idea that death comes eventually to everyone. Finally, there is an inscription which says, who God has joined together, let no man tear asunder. Diamond rings are one of the highlights in this collection. The earliest of them is this third or fourth century Roman diamond in its natural octahedral form. This ring was on display in the Power of Love exhibit by De Beers, the famous diamond dealers, and more recently in the Boston Museum of Fine Arts. De Beers said about this ring, the history of the diamond starts here. A 14th century Italian ring is a very interesting example of the way in which stones and rings traveled. The ring is set with an amazing sapphire from Sri Lanka that dates from the 10th century. The sapphire is engraved in Arabic with the name of its Egyptian owner. The ring itself is also inscribed in the 14th century. It reads, for love thou wast made, and for love I wear thee. Jewish wedding rings are a significant part of this collection. This one is amazing with white enameled hands supporting a house that opens. The house is a symbol both of the Temple of Jerusalem, but also of the home that a Jewish couple would make. Used during the ceremony and then returned to the synagogue, such rings are often inscribed, Mazel Tov, or Good Luck. The last ring I want to share with you concludes my selection on the cycles of life. This ring is about time. It's a 19th century calendar ring. We know from magazines and literature of the period that such rings were all the rage. These rings are actually perpetual calendars, meaning you could use them year after year. In the center part, the actual days, 1 through 30 or 31, are present. The top and bottom parts of the hoop move. In that way, you don't have to buy a new calendar ring every year. With this ring, we really come full circle in the idea of the cycles of life. With the Gimel ring, you had from birth to death. And with this ring, you have from the beginning of the year to the end of the year, representing the cycles of life as part of the cycle of eternal time.